I decided that Valentine's Day was the perfect day for revenge, admits a resident of Austin, Texas in the United States. He told about his lover's infidelity on the Reddit platform, asking users for advice. Many felt that the best solution was not to take revenge, but simply to break off relations with her and live in peace. But then, he said, the persistent girlfriend would pester him day and night with messages and calls. I wanted to put a fat end to it once and for all, and also to see the pathetic look on her face, he explained. You may not believe me, but men sometimes need to bring a relationship to a close too. Enlisting the support and advice of commenters, he devised an insidious revenge plan. With the help of a Reddit user, he managed to make a Valentine's Day reservation at a lakeside restaurant. Before the holiday dinner, he stopped by to pick up his cheating girlfriend and while she was taking a shower, left all of her personal belongings he found in his apartment in the closet. She was still in the bathroom, so I took her phone and deleted my number from her contacts, he recalled. Then I found her lover Theo's contact and put mine in instead of his number. That was part of the plan. He thought of a date that, at first, seemed like something any girl would dream of, sweet conversation, a nice dinner, wine, and a romantic view of the lake. We reminisced about the past, and I even made her laugh, the Texan pointed out proudly. I asked her what she envisioned her life in five years. She replied that she dreamed of being married by then. It was very hard for me to act out all that drama, but I was determined to see it through to the end. After dinner he retired to the restroom, where he called his best friend and asked him to pick him up in half an hour. Like a true gentleman, he paid the bill and invited his unfaithful friend for a walk around the lake. Everything looked perfect. We found a little pier and stood there, he noted. I asked her if she wanted to confess something to me. She was obviously embarrassed, but she didn't show it and lied that she had always been honest with me. The American told her he knew about her affair with Theo. The girl cried and began to say that she was very sorry. I told her that I sincerely thought she was the one, it was true, and took the ring case out of my pocket, he recalled. I bought this ring at a gas station for only $15. I didn't open the box because the ring looked awfully cheap. He lied that he had kept the ring for a long time and was waiting for the right time to propose to her. With these words, he defiantly threw the jewelry into the lake. The whole time she wouldn't stop crying and begging me to give her a chance to explain, he noted. I think at some point she had a nervous breakdown. That's when I decided to leave. Finally he said he had nothing more to say to her and that her excuses would not change anything. He warned that he had left a bag of her things in her room. I let her know that we would never see each other again and this conversation was the last. She tried to hug me and ask for forgiveness, but I wouldn't let her do that. I left and left her alone on that dock, the vigilant said. He got into his friend's car which was waiting for him outside the restaurant and proceeded to execute the second part of his cunning plan. He texted her from his cell phone from Theo after he switched his number to his own. What the hell, your boyfriend texted me and said he knew about our affair. I don't want any part of this drama, so don't call or text me again. I'm not kidding. The girl didn't say anything back to him. Sooner or later she'll figure it out and think I've acted like a teenager but I don't care anymore. The plan turned out great. She got dumped by two guys at once on Valentine's Day. And don't tell me she didn't deserve it. After what I did, I was relieved. I'm still a little shocked though. Even if that act made me look like a real jerk, that's okay, I'll get over it somehow, he summed up. After a while, the girl sent him a long touching email. He admitted that he wanted to put her message out there, but he thought about it and didn't do it. My story will seem unremarkable, maybe even standard, but I will write my confession. It so happened that I started to be interested in boys too early, about 13 years old, and I was in a serious relationship with guys for a year or more. My longest relationship is with Dima, whom I started dating at almost 17 and the relationship lasted 3.5 years. I can't say that I was unhappy or really regretted the time I spent with him, it's just that every day I had thoughts of a different life. I wanted something different, I wanted something real. I was like a supplement to Dima, I had to be with him, otherwise it was impossible. During this time we got used to each other a lot, we were acquainted with our parents and unilaterally, he me, planned to tie our fates to each other. 
Of course, I knew that we had no future with him and that all this would end sooner or later, but hope dies last. I loved him madly, I was ready for anything and more. In three years I found out about his cheating, his communication with other girls, his deceptions and insincerity. What could I do? I'm a woman, I'm weak, I forgave. I loved because. My mother and friends laughed at me, said that everything would be fine, that he was not worth my tears, etc. I was forced to tie my future with this man by the prospect of being well provided for, he was from a wealthy family, with all sorts of connections that could help me in life. With the help of his father, I got a job in a bank, for that I am very grateful to him of course. Beginning in the spring of 2021 we had a very difficult relationship, we fought and even broke up all the time. The work team helped me to go through the difficult moments. Since it was a warm and sunny time, we often went on a trip to nature, we organized, so to speak, corporate parties. And so, on a day when we had a very big fight with Dima, I decided to go out and go with colleagues to the quarry. I purposely turned off the phone because I knew that there would be calls and there would be hysterics. I had a good time, almost all spent with an employee, also Dima. We fooled around, took pictures Titanic style, sat together at the table and just chatted. I will not hide it, I drank a lot that night and at the end of fun, I went over to Dima and whispered in his ear. So, let's go to my place? To which Dima responded, even so. I became terribly embarrassed. I thought that tomorrow the whole team will laugh at me, as such interesting statements spread at the speed of sound. But Dima only called a cab, and before leaving asked where to come. I told him the address, left my number, and when I got home, I waited for the call, probably more than I had ever waited in my life. Still, he called when he pulled up in front of the house, bringing a bottle of martini with him. The evening was wonderful, we sat on the balcony, looking out at the city at night, sipping our martinis, and just laughing wildly. We had a great time together. After that it was all a blur. I won't go into detail, but it was probably the best night of my life. I had never felt so much caress and tenderness before. I realized that I was a desirable girl. And in the morning Dima left. I thought forever. It was hard for me to realize that it had been one night. And I would have to forget this man. After all, I have the old Dima with whom nothing has yet to be resolved. But to the surprise of me and all my friends, we met with the employee Dima the next evening. During the conversation, Dima asked me the question, aren't we lovers now? That's where it all started. I realized that I wanted this man to be not just a bed guest, but my man for life, my husband and the father of my children. And so my life changed. I left the old Dima with grief, he wouldn't put up with it, threatened to fire me from my job that my life would turn into a living hell. So it has been half a year. I have been living with my new Dima for almost four months. We know for sure that we will get married this year and we want children very much. I am happier than I have ever been in my life, thankful for my unhealthy sense for what I did for that night.